so very good afternoon to all the students of class 10th b uh, yes beta we have completed this poem the tale of custard the dragon in detail one of the longest poem in your uh, as compared to other poems so we have done this it's a ballad rather it's a story inside this poem so we were uh, about to start discussion of question answers now so uh, characters and their names have been written by me because the very first question is who are the characters in the poem list them with their pet names what were the pet names they had for them and what are the characters so uh, let me reduce characters as well as this is the answer of your very first question also rest of the eight questions you will give me the answer so let me name the students just to save the time bisam you will give uh then divyash vaid isha preet jia and jia dhavan both mehak you will also give answer to one question sayam uh jo bacche aksar participate karte hain naming them fine rest of the student they just become the all lookers only if you are interested you will raise hand definitely i will admit you fine so eight questions are there eight students different students i want very first question is a little girl uh, so you will mention that uh, following are the characters in this ballad or in this poem but you will not make a chart you will not write a little girl name is equal to like this no you will write in the form of running paragraph only the way you write answers okay so there are following characters in this uh, poem the very first character is of a little girl whose name is belinda the next character is a little black kitten whose name is whose pet name is in and then comes the little gray mouse the little gray colored mouse whose name is blink and then we have a yellow colored dog whose name is mustard and finally we have the very important character a uh, dragon whose name is custard in this poem so this is the answer of your very first question okay now uh, it's your turn to answer so bisam turn goes to you our question is let me share the screen uh why did custard cry for a nice safe cage why is the dragon called cowardly dragon divyash has raised hand for this thing bisam has also raised okay bisam answer this he wanted to be in a nice safe cage because he liked to be protected always yes. and he was called cowardly dragon because he was crying for a nice safe cage Yes, so you can say it's great. Why is dragon called cowardly dragon? Uh, wait. So why did Custard cry for a nice safe cage? He cried for a nice safe cage because he is coward. He always prefers his safety all the time. He is called cowardly dragon because other characters are defined to be very brave and courageous. Uh, fine, but. no traits have been used uh, with custard the dragon clear and he has not shown any sign of courageousness also as well so he always wants a safe cage so that's why uh, other creatures called him cowardly dragon yes divyansh next question belinda tickled him she tickled him unmerciful why good morning ma'am good morning beta Belinda is a fun-loving girl. She is fond of pets, and she has ink, bling, mustard, and custard has her pets. And she is fond of custard and tickles him for amusement. Custard is a lazy dragon, and she wants to excite him by tickling. So this is your version, according to me. They have not mentioned anywhere that uh, that he was lazy, and she just yes, out of fun, she was doing this, and. basic reason you have to tell here is she considered him a coward right so that's why and rest of the creatures she considered courageous who always used to boast about their bravery and she that's why she tickled custard the dragon because she thinks he was a coward and she was being unmerciful towards him 
he always demanded a safe cage so that's why she was being unfair towards him laziness ka kahi mention nahi hai that he was not working or was sitting all the time no okay so our answer is belinda tickled custard the dragon in an unmerciful way because she considered him the most uh, you can say scared or the most cowardly among all the other creatures and she he always demanded a safe cage she was not liking it she didn't like it at all so that's why she tickled him and she was actually trying to bait fun of him to uska mazak udati thi that's why she tickled him on merciful way fourth question the poet has employed many poetic devices in the poem for example clashed his tail like iron in a dungeon the poetic device here is a simile Can you with your partner list some much more poetic devices used in the poem? उस दिन आपको मैंने thirteen, fourteen poetic devices करवाई थी. So this is an open-ended question again for you. You can write n number of poetic devices. Fine. The poet has used many poetic devices to enhance the beauty of the poem. पहले आप ये बताओगे. Like, uh, you know. Uh, he has used metaphor. He has. Firstly, आप बताओगे. He has used the device of repetition in abundance to create the musical impact to create the impact of that line fine repetition bahut bar ki hai usne koi line bar bar repeat then he has used anaphora also again and again use of some words in the beginning lines then uski example de do fine uh, we have done a literary devices that day last lecture mein so thirdly he has also used metaphors and simile to unhone mention kar diya hum nahi karenge yahan pe dobara se and he has also used poetic license by using such words really or truly or winda such words which do not exist but just for creating physical impact he has used so three four poetic devices aap bata sakte ho personification also you can tell because animals are speaking human traits are given to them okay read stanza 3 again to know how poet describes the appearance of the dragon you tell me Yes, Jia Thavar. आपको मैंने पहले ही names announce करे हैं so that to save the time. Tanya has raised hand. Okay, Tanya, you can answer this one with me. Custard the dragon. He had big sharp teeth and pointed spikes on top of him, and bony pellet underneath. He had a fireplace like mouth and a chimney like nose. and he had daggers on his toes yes very good so his feet were as sharp as daggers so exactly correct answer the looks of the dragon are explained in a way that it has big sharp teeth it has spikes on the top this means its skin is pointed on the top on the lower part of its scales which are bony plates to protect the skin his mouth has been compared to a fireplace because it is it is assumed that dragons can produce fire from their mouths from its mouth even the nose is compared to a chimney which is used to pass out the smoke and his feet are compared to a sharp knife dagger so this is the how poet has described the appearance of the dragon Next question, question number six. Can you find out the rhyme scheme of two or three stanzas of the poem? Isha, please play the same. You know, such a easy one. Question, where she plays his hand. Yes, you can give answer, Isha. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Very smart, no? While giving very easy question, you choose and then give answer. Tell rhyme scheme. The rhyming scheme of each stanza of this poem is A A B B. Yes, so this is A A B B for each and every stanza. But if any stanza ki rhyme scheme puche, it is same. A A B B is the answer. Okay, very good. Next is writers use words to give us a picture or image without actually saying what they mean. Can you trace some images used in the poem? I told you imagery बहुत use हुई है in this same poem. Seventh answer. Who else wants to answer, Bitta? Only Isha Preet again has raised hand. What about others? Yes, 
Yes, Mr. The first paragraph is imagery. No, we cannot say like first paragraph. You have to give the phrases here. Phrases, a lot of phrases are used to win in which you can imagine a picture. Yes, Chahar. Ma'am, mouth like a fireplace. Yes, mouth like a fireplace. Brave as a beer, full, beer, barrel full of beers. Barrel full of beers. Very good. Brave as a tiger in the rage. Yes, yes. Brave as a tiger in the rage. This is also imagery. So, Chahad, you gave answer after so long. I, I like it. And you participated and keep participating on daily basis. I really appreciate it. You can mute yourself. So we, yes, following are the words or phrases which are used to give us pictures or imagery is used as follows. Fine. Mouth like a fireplace. Please underline in the poem itself. Chimney for nose. This is also imagery. Then barrel full of beers. Then brave as a tiger in the rage. Uh, he went at the pirate like a robin at a worm. Though it is a simile, but imagery to mind me clear. Ho rahi hai na, ke the, he went at the pirate like a robin at the worm. So these are the few examples. You know, zyada use yes, imagery, but these are the few examples where prominently the imagery has been used. Eighth question. Do you find the tale of Custard the Dragon to be a serious or a light-hearted poem give reasons to support your answer. Yes, same. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, Sam. Uh, at some level, we could categorize the tale of the Kartha Dragon poem as a light-hearted poem. Initially, the poem seems to be of the serious kind especially as we see the poor dragon getting criticized and teased by his companion constantly. The readers soon realize that all of this is in good humor. Custer the dragon does not offend or resist his friends. He wants nothing but his face place. It is in the funny names and the funny appearances and sounds that the ballad resumes its funny status. Okay, okay, fine. You can meet yourself. So, see, the tale of Custard the Dragon is definitely a light-hearted poem because, see, all the characters are, you know, named, uh, named with rhyme words like ink, blink. Uh, they all are defined to be very brave, uh, very simple features, uh, simple, you can say, traits are given to them. And the dragon proved to be real hero. But you can see, though it is a light-hearted poem, but the message which it gives to us, this is very serious, which is very grave, that you should not underestimate the power of weak people. You should not prejudge someone, but just by seeing the, you can say, uh, having preconceived notions. One should not have preconceived notions about others. We should not judge others, fine, on the basis of uh, their traits. We should not underestimate others. So message is serious, though it is a very lighthearted poem, but giving a very powerful message to us. So this is how you're going to write. You have lighthearted in which you enjoy just like a, a, a story narrated to young children, but the message is very powerful. The poem in ballad form tells a story. Have you come across any such modern song or lyric that tells a story? If you know one, tell it to the class, collect such songs. So this is like, a kind of a project that you need not write in your notebook. Okay, aapko eighth question that I told, told you, aapko likhne hai. This is like your, for your reference, if you want to read any other ballet or stories, you need not do this in your class, okay? In your notebook. So with this, we have completed uh, this poem. But you know, for uh, five stanzas, or six stanzas, we have done poetic devices. Uh, six or seven stanzas ki poetic devices amne discuss kar li thi. So we were left with a few stanzas only. Let us discuss that. Which literary devices are used. So we will start from suddenly, suddenly.
this. Have we done this? You tell me now, beta, which poetic device? Jaldi, jaldi se. Everyone should participate. It, it seems very nice, interactive participation. Class me itna bolte ho. Online class me vaazi nahi nikalti ho. So uh, see suddenly, suddenly, which poetic device is there? Literary devices. Yes, Navya has raised hand. Ma'am, repetition. Yes, repetition. Or kuch hua hai, Navya? Same stanza me. Okay, I'll give you the hint. Growled. Which poetic device is this? Metaphor. No. Tanya, batao. Navya ko. Onomatopoeia. Yes, onomatopoeia is like the sound produced as the real sound of the word. So onomatopoeia is there, growled, real sound, and the original sound and the word in itself when they match, that is onomatopoeia. Fair in repetition, onomatopoeia. What else is used here? Uh, see in this uh, poetic license like Vinda. Vinda is no word. Window ke liye Vinda use ki hai unhone. So this is the poetic license just to create the musical impact. Usko, usko rhyme karna tha Belinda ke saath. Usne Vinda lik diya. So they have the uh, freedom of changing the spelling of the words also though they are wrong. So this is called poetic license, right? So this is also used here in this. So suddenly, suddenly, the consonants we use where S is repeated as this is Usko hum, usko alliteration mein ya consonants mein bhi le sakte hai. Clear? So let's move to next stanza. Pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right. Ye wala stanza. Who will tell me? Pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right. And he held in his teeth a cutlass bright. Beard was black. One leg was wood. It was clear that the pirate meant no good. Which poetic device? Raise your hands. Jaldi, jaldi se. Only Tanya knows the answer. Bissam also knows the answer. Hanji, Bissam, kaun kaun si poetic devices are used? Imagery. Imagery is used, yes. Like uh, parents of the pirate, pirate is creating. Or oh, what else? Yes, Tanya. Pistol, pistol, repetition. So yes, device of repetition is also used here. Clear? Uh, you can say one more is there. Beard was black. Yes, Navya. Ma'am, alliteration. Yes, alliteration is also used. Very good. Fine. So, alliteration. Yes, ko book pe likte jao saath saath. That will be more easy for you. Imagery, uh, repetition, and alliteration. Next, stanza number nine. Yes. Belinda paled and she cried, help, help, but mustard fled with a terrified yell. Ink tickled down to the bottom of the household. Yes, Isha Preet, tell me the answer. Mom and help, help, uh, repetition is used. Help, help is repetition, according to Isha. Yes, this is correct answer. What else? Yes, Tanya again wants to speak. Yes, Peter. Terrified yell transferred epithet. Yes, I told you while doing this. So when uh, terrified yell, when adjective is used to describe a noun, that is known as transferred epithet. Jo chahat ko samajh mein nahi tha. Din chahat, please try to understand this. So, uh, help is used in place of help. Find that cry actually. When somebody shout for help, they have used the word help for that. And to describe that word, they have used one more word, terrified help. Fine. So, that is known as transferred epithet when this quality is transferred into another word by telling the using this objective uh, so sorry adjective fine transferred epithet is terrified help repetition help help clear that's it and uh, let's move to next stanza number 10 
So in this beta again, uh, Raina is going to tell us. Yes, Raina. Simile. Yes, simile is used where? Proper simile used. Snorting yes. like an engine. Uh, it's snorting like an engine, simile. Tail like iron, simile. Pirate like a robin at a worm, simile. So in this stanza, in abundance, they have used the simile, fine. And clang and jangling. These words are example of onomatopoeia. They are finished. Any poem tomorrow? Any only? Tomorrow we will start new uh, chapter. Okay, from another book, footprints without you. Clank and jangling are example of onomatopoeia. Fine, simile ho gaya. And then uh, imagery is also used. He went at the pirate like a robin at a worm. Ye imagery puri ki puri line mein use hoye to create an image in our minds. Okay, so let's move to next stanza number eleven. In this stanza also, very easy. You tell me. I have highlighted here. Which poetic device is used in this highlighted <coughs> segment? Girls with some jog. बहुत इजी है गर्ड सम ग्रॉग व्हिच पोइटिक डिवाइस ग ग साउंड इज रिपीटेड इट मेक्स इट यस एलिट्रेशन हां यस फाइन सुकानिया हैज स्पोकन ऑलरेडी एलिट्रेशन यस व्हाट एल्स इज देयर imagery is used also fine basically is me alliteration used here next stanza again c fir alliteration g sound repeated glee did gyrate alliteration is used here clearly एंड यहाँ पे देखिए इन कैन ब्लिंक इन ग्ली डिड आई साउंड इज रिपीटेड आई 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 एंड अगेन आई इन द सेम लाइन दिस इज द डिवाइस ऑफ असोनेंस कल अब मैं डिस्कस कर रहा था उस दिन असोनेंस एंड कॉन्सोनेंस एलिट्रेशन का ही पार्ट होते हैं वो दोनों सो यू कैन से असोनेंस पर्टिकुलरली बट यू कैन नॉट राइट एलिट्रेशन हियर इन दिस केस बिकॉज वॉल साउंड इज रिपीटेड हियर असोनेंस लिख सकते हो आप यहाँ पे Clear. Let's move to next one. No specifically any properly. Let's do this one. So again, this tells us fourteen and fifteen, beta. They are already used. So refrain is me hua hai beginning me because uh, I told you in the beginning what is refrain when a part of just uh, a song me hota hai ek line bar bar repeat hoti hai. Belinda still lives in a little white house. Ye sari ki sari lines refrain me aati hai because all these lines have been used already at the beginning of the poem as you know. Ye dekhiye, fine. सेम लाइन्स है तो व्हेन सेम लाइन्स आर रिपीटेड दिस इज दिस मेक्स देम रेफरेन तो ये हमारा रेफरेन हो गया दीज लाइन्स लास्ट वाली क्लियर रेफरेन आर ई एफ आर ए आई एन रेपिटेशन आल्सो पूरा का पूरा स्टैंडर्ड रिपीट हुआ है सो दैट मेक्स इम मेक्स इट रेपिटेशन आल्सो क्लियर विद दिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दिस पोएम इन डिटेल वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द टेल ऑफ कस्टर्ड द ड्रैगन Find characters as well as uh, theme and कोई doubt है किसी को you can ask me please send me your feedback is it clear to you all question answers please do it in the fear notebook poetic devices side by side book पे लिख लीजिए आपने अपनी revision के लिए and please do so don't stop your learning
which is the best time you can prepare yourself for the boards fine and uh, make sure your work is completed side by side uh, this week as your test is not there so you will complete your notebooks and send me uh, because we have completed this book so this part is completed poetry as well as all the chapters of first flight are done fine so you will be sending me i'm giving you time and you have to submit your notebooks on uh, it, it is 31st today so send me by tomorrow okay because you have done your work side by side so very first feb you have to send me your notebooks with complete work or writing skill or whatever we have done integrated grammar in between जो जो भी हमने करा था एवरीथिंग शुड बी देयर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हैव सेंट मी आल्सो बट प्लीज इफ इफ योर नोटबुक इज नॉट चेक्ड और बाय मिस्टेक इट इज बिकॉज़ अ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स सेंड अस नोटबुक समटाइम्स इन बिटवीन इट इज नॉट चेक्ड सो यू कैन टेक्स्ट मी दैट मैम आई सेंट यू द नोटबुक अर्लियर बट इट वाज नॉट चेक्ड सो आई विल चेक इट वंस अगेन ओके मेक श्योर यू सेंड मी बाय टुमारो टिल दिस पोएम टेल ऑफ कस्टर्ड इट शुड बी देयर मेक श्योर and tomorrow we will start with the new chapter uh, i guess one chapter is left let me check if i am not wrong here because there are a lot of chapters in this no one chapter is left yes i was wrong in saying so that all the chapters are done but even then you have to send the notebooks uh, to me tomorrow one chapter the proposal beta last chapter of this book the proposal and then three to four more chapters are there in footprints without feet so you have to speed up accordingly while joining the class while attending the lecture while responding also so that we can do it in a, a stipulated time and we can have time for revision as well fine right?